If the Congress convenes as a constituent assembly for the purpose of amending the Constitution, should the Senate and the House of Representatives uh, vote jointly or separately? Section 1 of Article 17 of the Constitution provides, any amendment to or revision of the Constitution may be proposed by, one, the Congress, upon a vote of three-fourths of all its members, or two, a constitutional convention. Note should immediately be taken of the fact that the section does not state where, uh, when acting as a constituent assembly, the, the, uh, the Congress should be in a joint or in separate session. The following pronouncements of Father Joaquin Barnas on one of the commissioners of the 1986 Constitutional Commission and a highly respected constitutionalist in his book, The 1987 Constitution of the Republic of the Philippines, a commentary, 2003 ed edition, uh, pages one, uh, 1,298 to 1,299, is very instructive. The provision says nothing about a joint session. The provision raises two questions. First, must Congress assemble in joint session before it can propose amendments or call a constitutional convention? Or alternatively, may the two houses, as they are, and who are there, they are proposed amendments or call a constitutional convention by a vote of three-fourths of the respective membership. Since nothing is said about a joint session, it is submitted that each house may separately formulate amendments by vote of three-fourths of all its members and then pass it on to the other house for a similar process. Disagreements can be settled through a conference committee. Alternatively, however, it is also submitted that Congress may decide to come together in joint session and vote separately or proposed, on proposed amendments and revisions. Since the Constitution is silent about the method, and since the mandatory process has been committed to Congress under the political questions doctrine, Congress should be free to choose whichever method it prefers. It is also submitted, however, that what is essential is that both houses vote separately. This is because the power to propose amendments is given not to a unicameral body, but to a bicameral body. The meaning of a constitutional command can also be drawn from the non-governmental structure set up by the Constitution. I fully agree with Father Bernas. 